Ken O'Connor, Hill International, Senior Project Manager. The project is the DASNY SUNY FIT New Academic Building. Most of the work that I've done over the last 20 years has been in occupied spaces, whether they are an engine company or a fire department building, uh, schools, elementary schools, high schools, um, Brooklyn College before this one again, occupied spaces, you're building buildings in, in areas that they need to be operational. You can't just shut the world down and, and build the building and have them all come back when you want them to. You have to work around what they want and what they need and make sure that you don't get shut down, the contractors don't get shut down, and you also don't delay their um, their learning or, or their operations. I've done other projects in Manhattan, but probably none that are as physically tight as this where no staging space exists. And again, we're building a building in between three other buildings and a street. So there's not a lot of space to move around. There's not a lot of space to coordinate, to store things. Um, Again, we're about 15 feet away from this particular building, so we're connecting to this building. So there are classes physically going on above us as we're building. Um, they didn't shut down operations. We had to continue through the, the whole uh, process of digging the foundation, building the foundation, and building the building um, while they had classes, while they have exams, while they have commencement, while they bring students in on tours and make it a presentable operational space both for them and for us. An outside company approached ASNI for a pilot project, for lack of a better description. It's AI job site inspection, and, and it's sort of like a, a site inspector where they physically walk once a week, they go to the same designated positions, they take a 360 degree photo, and they analyze the photographs in the week in between, and they send you a report. So if there was a, a pipe put in on the fourth floor in the following week, the AI detects that the pipe was removed, it was relocated, it was buried. It actually sends you an email and a notification that, hey, there was a pipe here and now it's gone. Something might have happened, you may want to look at it. And we also have the ability to add our own spotlights, which is what they call the, the issues of the problems. If we see something that we want to make sure it doesn't get buried or uncovered, we notify the DASNY's company, they put a spotlight on it, so now we can track in-wall inspections, we can track DOT inspections, DOB inspections, so it'll automatically come up in a weekly report and it'll flag it saying, hey, you do for an inspection on this wall, make sure you don't miss it. For the most part, the feature of the design was the curtain wall and the building facade from 28th Street where they wanted to mimic the um, pyramid shapes, for lack of a better description, on this, this building itself. So um, as the design itself morphed into the final design, uh, rather than just a flat office building type curtain wall, they, they took the geometry of the existing facade and they sort of stretched it into long what we call the fins on the curtain wall, where it's the same building geometry stretched into a long skinny um, design detail. So it sort of breaks up the, the glass in the curtain wall and it sort of adds the pyramid shapes back from the existing facade and brings it out to 28th Street so you can still see it. I'd say I would take the hope. I would have to say of all the end user clients that I've worked with in the past, FIT has been about the most cooperative that we can expect them. You have a lot of people who, even though you're building them a building or you're doing a renovation for them, nobody likes construction. It creates dust, it creates disruption. But I think FIT has an eye on the end goal and they realize that they're going to get a great building at the end. So from the get-go, they've, they've jumped through hoops to cooperate with us. And the only thing I can say is looking forward to the next project, I'd hope that the end user or the owner would have that same level of cooperation or the foresight to, to give us that cooperation to make our lives and their lives be easier at the same time.